Thanks for joining us on this campaign 2020 partisan primary election night. Voters across the state sending in their ballots or casting them in person. The polls closed about two hours ago. The ballots are being counted as we speak. In most cases, today is a setup for the general election in November, but in others with no challengers this fall, the winner of tonight's primary takes the seat, and that is the case in our first race tonight for the state Senate. It's for the 26th district, which covers the isthmus to the west side of Madison, and there are seven candidates in this race, and just moments ago, Kelder Royce has been declared the winner. All of these candidates were vying for retiring incumbent Senator Fred Risser's open seat. Kelder Royce held a virtual victory speech just moments ago. Thank you so, so very much for the trust that you've placed in me by voting for me. <clears throat> I will work every single day to be worthy of the opportunity that you've provided me with and to enact the big structural changes we so desperately need. There is no Republican challenger in this race, so barring any unforeseen circumstances, Calderoy's will be the new state senator for the 26th district. Political reporter Amy Reid is following this race tonight and has reaction and more on what this means. Amy? It's been a long time since Madison has had to fill this seat. Outgoing Risser first took it in 1963. Kelda Royce beat out six others, and she came in with the most experience in politics. She used to be in the Assembly. She also had a failed run for Congress against Mark Pocan and a failed gubernatorial primary run against Governor Evers. She has a history pushing for reproductive rights, and she told me she considers herself a progressive backing Badger Care for All and the Green New Deal. But she also has plans to tackle equity problems in the state and affordable housing. Of course, the main focus for her and the rest of the legislature will be the state's continued response to the coronavirus.